but it was a style that I wanted to try the magnetic loop. Now all of the Nike watch faces are available on the non-Nike watches, so I added one of those. Oh, it's later in the afternoon. Good timing. My Apple watch bands came in. So I ordered a three pack of the sport loops and I was so excited. I already put one on. So this is the orange wine and gray color against a gold Apple watch. And uh, I think that is a pretty cool looking watch band. I really like these nylon sport loops because they are so comfortable. They're by far the most comfortable Apple Watch band I've ever had. And they, they're breathable too, so they never feel sweaty. They never feel hot. They're always the perfect temperature. They're wonderful. Um, they just are a little bit casual. So uh, I, I got the three pack because I wanted to try some of the different colors. I did actually try all of these cover, colors on. Um, the Storm Grey I previously had. Now I have a green, blue, and light blue, and a two-tone gray, and then this one, which is really what I ordered this three-pack for, was to get the orange, wine, and greenish gray color to go against the gold. I think that's really nice. And I'll put product links in the description for all of these cheap bands that you can get. I really like this one. Yeah, really cool look. All right, the two more formal bands that I got, I went for blues uh, against the gold. Now, Apple themselves uh, sells the gold, stainless steel gold Apple Watch with a navy band. So I wanted to get a, another, a navy band. This one's a synchro. These are all Apple Watch knockoff uh, bands that are just like Apple's real designs, but much, much cheaper. These are all around $5.00 to ten dollars each for bands this one was a little bit more i think this one was 20 because it's real leather uh this one they say it's real leather but it's half real half fake you've seen this one on my series three video i really like this watch band so let me take off the sport loof and i'll put on one of the uh the fancier ones and now i'm going to put on the king's jeff leather which um this one, they say is real leather. I'm not convinced. I believe it might be a real leather on the top and then a pleather on the back. But it matches the color scheme of the gold Apple Watch nice, really nicely. And I think this is the, uh, the most elegant option that I've chosen. And uh, let me show you once I get it buckled up on my wrist. Um, pretend that I'm wearing a nice collared shirt and this is what I think is the, my most elegant watch band. You can choose faces that choose the mood too, right? You can change it to whatever kind of watch style you will like. Um, I've put on a bunch of different faces, the infographic ones, the workout ones, depending on whatever mood you're in, right? For a watch band like this, I would want to have an elegant watch face, either this one I quite like or this, the California. Anyway, this is the watch band. I really like how the orange accent stitching works with the gold. And also that the underside also kind of uh, complements the gold. Anyway, I think that's a nice look. All the metal part is a black, uh, matte black. And so on the actual clasps themselves, it is matte black. But I like that because the face of the watch is black and the clasps are black. It's a nice look. All right, let me show you the leather one. Okay, this one is the Synchro and it's all magne magnetic little interlinks. And so the whole thing is kind of magnetized against each other, or it will be once you uh, get it in the right orientation. So yeah, let me show you what this looks like on the wrist. You just have to be careful about putting this one on because uh, you could put it on backwards, although I think you can still get it off either way, but anyway. Okay, for this one, because it's magnetic, getting it on tight is a little bit more difficult than you would think one-handed. So you're trying to put it on, you kind of have to flick it. Oh, it's, I don't know, maybe you'd get used to it or maybe you just gotta kind of pull it. I can't quite figure out how to get it on tight the first time. It's a little weird. There, that's better. Actually, this is quite nice. Now that I'm trying it on for the second time, I, I do like it. I think I just like that other one a little bit more. Anyway, that is a really cool look too. This one is definitely a real leather, feels very real. This one was the most expensive one, cost me $28 Canadian. I just looked at it, but it was a style that I wanted to try, the magnetic loop. I just think it's a little bit too formal for how I normally dress, which is with like sweaters and t-shirts and stuff. So it's just, uh, if I was going into an office every day and wearing a collared shirt, I think I would really dig this look. The navy blue is just a little bit 
nicer than the black against the gold. Anyway, that is a cool look. Okay, let me just quickly show you all the watch faces that I have. This is the Siri watch face, which I've typically ran on my Series 3 almost all the time. It is a great watch face because it shows you your resting heart rate all the time. None of the other watches, watch faces do that. This is one of the only ones where you can have this much information available just by a flick of the finger. So I like the Siri watch face for that. It is always my leftmost watch face. Swipe to the, swipe to the right. Now I have the infographic where this is a lot more information than was available on my Series 3. And I just have a bit more of a classy watch face. And I have another infographic style. This one I have the sound dB meter on all the time, so I can quickly check for a full week's worth of weather, compass, sound meter, a bunch of the extra features. Nike watch faces. Who knew that finally you can get the Nike watch faces on the non-Nike watches? I did not know that was a thing. You certainly couldn't do that before. Now all of the Nike watch faces are available on the non-Nike watches, so I added one of those. This one is the jellyfish. This one is when sunset is. I have just another analog with complications. Another analog with complications. Just all kinds of weird different analog styles that I liked. The moon. Another uh, workout focused watch face. This one is Chronograph Plus. This one is a new sunset. Another analog style and another analog style. Just some styles. And there's a whole bunch more. You can go long press, new watch faces. There is a ton of watch faces in iOS 9, more than ever before. And you can add as many as you would like because this watch now is faster and has 32 gigs, of, 32 gigs of storage. So there's quite a bit you can do with these watches and I like them a lot. All right, guys, that's my new Apple Watch SE. Let me get back to the watch face I want to be on. You could also do a long press and then just scroll quickly over to the one that you want. All right, guys. That's my new Apple Watch SE. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll put product links in the description for all of these cheap bands that you can get. I really like this one as well.